شو اي ستارت ماي ليكتشر ولا كيف ولا شلون؟ تحبوا تعرفوا لكم شوي صغيره ولا لا دكتور هي اعتقد هاي بس هي محاضرتك بس هو بتكون يعني المحاضره فاتحه من قبل اوكي مش مشكله معناته شو بلكي انا هون بلكي انه شير كونتنت شو بلكي انا شير كونتنت اوكي اي ثينك ذات بين عند كل سلايدات اه مبينه دكتور اوكي اي ثينك شو جو اوكي السلام عليكم مساء الخير يا شباب اه اه مبينين كويس بدعتوا اوكي شو رايك ستار تعتقد انه نفسك شوية وقت ولا كيف ولا بتحبوا؟ العلم بده يسوي كل شيء والله بفتح مخ الواحد والله ما سمعت معك كمان حكى هذا اسمه كلمة اه اه نبلش دكتور اوكي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم يا شباب اوكي اور توك توداي از اباوت يورو ريفيرسز اور رينال ستونز ويتش سام تايمز وي سمارايز ان كيدني ستونز بيكوز It's more common to have kidney stones rather than uh, any other parts of the your track. And if you remember in uh, uh, in the round, or if you don't remember, it's just a new. We always divide the tract into upper and lower. And whenever we say upper tract, we mean the kidneys and the ureters. Whenever we say lower tract, we mean the bladder and the urethra plus monad, prostate and male. We know that our female partners they do not have a prostate. Uh, another reminder: We know that uh, our female partners do not have a prostate. Uh, uh, our talk today is the fact uh, it's urethritis or kidney stones in stones and stones. And just and just a quick reminder: a question uh, of theory talk. We know that the prevalence around two to three percent of general population with a stated life risk for men is more than women. And nowadays, a little bit, it's, it's almost the same. Uh, 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 in the new uh, uh, publications, because uh, women now they are almost uh, doing most of the manual works, uh, work uh, that needs men to do, and uh, they pass through some status of dehydration, and they don't drink out of fluid. Uh, now they are uh, they are changing their habits. Instead of drinking water, they're drinking more uh, coffee and drinks. Other like male, and they even they go and smoke even more than them. So uh, now it's almost equalizing. Approximately 50% of patients with previous stone disease, they will have their cramps within 10 years uh, because they have the ability to recur either because of congenital genital abnormalities or genetics, or because of recurrence of the same environmental status with regarding to dehydration, and we will discuss. On development in the future, uh, in the coming few minutes, inshallah. We know that the rate of fetal reverses increases with age, it's higher in men compared to women, and uh, whites more than uh, blacks. Hispanic and Asians are, are in the middle between whites and blacks. The estimated uh, life expectancy, or the life uh, uh, expectancy to, to develop stones is between 7 to 10 every 1,000 stones, and you will see why now. Stones, we divide them the etiology or the chemical composition into 60 to 8. The most common is calcium oxalate or calcium containing stones. More calcium oxalate is more than calcium phosphate. Around to uh, two thirds or even up to 80 percent of the uh, stones are calcium oxalate, calcium containing stones. <coughs> Around 20 percent is trovite stones. And trovite stones <coughs> composed of magnesium and aluminium phosphate. We summarize them into or we just say it's MAP, me, M -A -P, MAP stones, or stevite stones, and sometimes we call them infectious stones because they're associated with infections, uh, uh, gram, uh, sorry, gram negative E. coli infections or even the uh, 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 urease splitting enzymes, such as Pseudomonas, Proteus, Scripsilla, and, gram, and uh, E. coli. 5% they present our uric acid stones, and this is the only radiolucent stone. 1 uh, to 3% is cysteine stones, and these are uh, uh, the most uh, uh, commonly uh, inherited as autosomal recessive, and they are semi radio opaque. The same patient may have more than one type of stone uh, concurrently, uh, which means at the same time, uh, calcium and uric acid, for example, even calcium. With sovite or calcium with, with the steam 
and so it's concurrently at the same time while they currently different uh, uh, times. Uh, uh, so I'm going to have it, okay. Let's understand. So I'm Sorry for some. Uh, okay. I think there's something wrong with the slides. Mm. So we go to the stone formation again, or the theology. You know, that stone for me uh, mainly. Uh, uh, it's a matter of solvent and uh, 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 solute. Whenever the solid increases more than the solvent, crystallization, supersaturation would happen, and then this uh, supersaturation would lead to crystallized formation at certain or in a good environment or good pH, depending on the crystal type, because you will know in, 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 in a second or in a few minutes that some crystals, they need uh, acidic pH, other crystals, they need a calm pH, and some of them, they, uh, they go for the uh, neutral pH. Uh, uh, so th and there should be a good uh, or increased concentration of uh, 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 soluble uh, material that in, in the same time there is reduced uh, solvent uh, 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 composition. This will lead to supersaturation in the presence of a suitable pH. This will lead to accumulation of these crystals together and will give us the epitaxy or matrix theory, which means that there should be uh, accumulation of these supersaturated crystals over an idus, which is mostly, uh, uh, mostly this idus is uh, a dead epithelial cells, uh, which is the cast. This will uh, form a stone. In addition, there should be a deficiency of inhibitors of stone formation. There is a normal inhibitance in, inhibitors inside the body that are organic or uh, non organic. We'll, we'll see them in the second, inshallah. Uh, this will uh, 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 prevent the stone aggregation and prevent sometimes uh, stone growth. So the most, most of the most important of them is citrate and magnesium. Uh, and these are the most important stone inhibitors. Uh, the, aggregate, the crystals will aggregate and become large enough to become anchored to uh, uh, the the papillae, which is the end of the collecting or the the end or the, the inlet of the mineral calyces, the end of collecting ducts, and they slowly increase in size over time. Uh, if they are small enough, they will go into uh, 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 the mineral calyces, the major calyces pass through the uterus, depending on the size. Or if there's uh, more stagnation, they will stay in the place and even they go larger and bigger, bigger and bigger. In the kidney, uh, we have many risk factors for urolithiasis. Uh, the most important thing is the previous or past history of calcium stones, and uh, uh, because we should put in mind, as we said at the beginning, in 50% of patients uh, of with, with calcium stones, they may develop in, 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 uh, in within 10 years. So, past history is very important. Any stone disease, or any patient with the stone, we just say. We just say it's uh, uh, it comes to the family, the patient that you may have recur recurrence. Family history of urethritis, uh, just because of three reasons, one, one of them is some stones they are genetic, they have genetic predisposition, such as uh, 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 cysteine stones, and so, the other reason because both the family and the affected partner or the affected, affected patient. They share the same environmental status. That's what we mean by family history. يعني أنت تأكل نفس أكل أبوك نفس أكل أمك نفس أكل أهلك نفس إخوانك. You share the same environment within the same family or within the same house. This is what we mean by family history. The hydration consequently increases urine concentration. Either the hydration because of reduced intake or blood loss or fluid loss or even uh, recurrent attacks of vomiting or short bowel syndrome. Increased enteric absorption of oxalate, such as what would happen in short bowel syndrome, which means more more absorption of oxalate. This will lead to more more uh, 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 crystallization of calcium, 
and calcium per itself per se itself doesn't lead to stone. It should be combined with either calcium auxiliary or calcium phosphate for the, the crystallization of the calcium uh, crystals. Otherwise, if there is no auxiliary or no phosphate, calcium per se it doesn't lead to any uh, stone disease. Neutral infection, as we said, uh, uh, increase the risk of trovite stones or infectious stones or map stone, which is the same. Some medications they increase or the primordial crystallization, such as sulfadiazine, which is drug that's used for, uh, 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 sorry, uh, uh, inflammatory disease alternative or Crohn's. Sometimes we use trimetrine, indenavir, or espezamide, which is uh, uh, known drugs for either uh, loop diuretics or even uh, indenavir is an antiviral. Uh, hypertension can also increase the risk of sound development. Uh, and the last one, which is uh, uh, now uh, some people, they, they, they question this, which is dietary habits. In the old days, we, we used to say uh, calcium containing uh, stones. Nowadays, we don't. We just, uh, the most important thing is what uh, increase the, the oxalate composition. Uh, that will uh, uh, increase the risk of calcium stones, calcium oxalate stones, or some drinks, or some, uh, they will increase the, uh, uh, reduce the stone inhibitors concentration and stone development, this such as grapefruit and tomato juice. Uh, risk factors for uric acid, uh, hyperuricemia or gout, or more than necros or more than look. Uh, this will, these patients have more prone for more uric acid stones. Uh, as we said, to provide stones, you have infection, and cysteine stones, uh, it is not so much disorder where the patient has cysteine urea that due to instability of cysteine in the urine because of lack of enzyme deficiency or the enzyme uh, in, the, in the liver. So, uh, if you look at this slide, it's a long list of calcium, uh, calcium stones or risk of calcium stones. Uh, the most important one of them is low urine volume, which is the so, uh, uh, reduced solvent and increased uh, solute. Uh, the most important part of our uh, talk today is the manifestations. And if you remember, uh, if you don't uh, remember, I will just remind you again. Uh, the stone, the manifestation depends on the where is the stone uh, in the kidney or in the uh, uh, ureter or in the bladder. Usually we say that kidney stones uh, or uh, that or the kidney pain that is produced from stone usually it is localized in the loin. Inshallah, we will we will discuss where's the loin, uh, either online or even uh, face to face. Uh, the loin, uh, the st renal stone is or renal pain is localized in the pain in the loin. It is a continuous uh, pain. Uh, that is there, and as long as there is the distension of the capsule, and this is the, co the cause of pain, pain. Whenever the pain goes into the ureter, the ureter is not localized pain, so it is a uh, colicky pain, which means waxes and wane and severity up and down. It's not like a real pain, so it comes in in waves or production that's related to the uh, ureteric spasm, and that's what we call ureteric colic. Uh, uh, that and the colic will just uh, mm. uh, define where is the area of radiation, different areas of radiation, whether it's in the upper uh, or the lower abdominal area, or even uh, the genitalia or the subordinate gear, or even it goes into the groin or the, the thigh, depending on the age of the radiation. If you should like just look at uh, uh, this slide, we know that the kidney pain usually leads to vague or dull abdominal uh, loin pain or flank pain. And we should put in mind that loin and flank almost the same, but some people they would just call lumbar as uh, the flank. Some people do have hematuria that's macroscopic or microscopic, gross or micro, macro means gross or seen, microscopic it means an, an investigation or seen on the analysis. Uh, the proximal and the middle and the distal ureter, all of them, they will have ureteric colic. But if the patient is having combined renal pain and ureteric colic because of this pathology that is uh, giving us uh, renal, renal pain and ureteric colic at the same time, we, in, in that, uh, at that time, we'll have what we call renal colic, 
and real colic, as you know, it's a misnomer or it's not true colic because the patient is having continuous liver pain in the loin that even now and then because of this abnormal uterine processes, real colic would, would uh, happen. Uh, hematuria is almost, as, as we said, macro or micro. And NMV means nausea and vomiting, especially if there is severe pain and there is irritation of the GI close by, close by GI uh, tract. Uh, some patients with distal uterus stones, especially the intervalical part, they will have or they develop lower tract symptoms, mainly either irritative or obstructive. And when it comes to the irritative, we know that the main irritative symptoms are dysuria, urgency, increased frequency. When it comes to the obstructive symptoms, the main symptoms are poor stream, hesitancy, and sometimes uh, uh, tension. If the bladder has, is having stone, uh, mostly they will have either suprabuc pain and or irritative or obstructive symptoms. Some patients, they present with complications of the stones, and the complications of the stones mainly relative to obstruction, and uh, on top of this, whether either it's uh, infection, septicemia, uh, or uh, just uh, pain by the process. Uh, renal impairment, renal failure develops if the patient is having bilateral pathologies or a single pathology in an obstructive system, or this is a long standing uh, infection. Uh, like this patient, uh, which is, he's, he's a lucky, uh, he presented with bilateral discipline of x ray, bilateral renal uh, or, or uh, radio picture shadows at the air of the kidney, which we know later on, if you look at the tip of the arrows, these are staghorn stones, the carnator, occupying the pelvis, which is in the middle, and going into the upper calyx, middle, middle calyx, and lower calyces. And this you go staghorn, complete or incomplete. Complete, I all the branches, the calyceal system, major, major calyceal system. When we know that the pelvis goes into the kidney, it will divide into two to three major calyces, and each calyx will divide into two to three minor calyces. So if the stone is developing, or is occupying the whole calicia system. Uh, it's a it's it's a uh, complete. It's just occupying two, or one out of two, uh, or two out of three. This is incomplete or partial staghorn. Uh, uh, in our in our in our differential diagnosis, we have to put on our mind uh, a lot of of pathologies regard regarding or uh, or uh, putting in our mind the areas that is involved. Whether it's a right side or left side, and it's a boy or a girl. In women, any gynecological process, it's ovarian torsion, ovarian cyst, if you pregnancy, uh, uh, should be included in our differential. In, me, in, in men, uh, uh, scrotal pathologies, uh, that's unprocessed pathologies, that is really mainly in male. Now, uh, GI pathologies and even other patho pathologies, it's in, in between both and, for both and girls. Other causes of urinary pain, such as appendicitis, cholestatis, arthritis, uh, colitis, colitis, constipation, hernias, arterialism, may, may have a similar uh, uh, discomfort, such as urinary you know, stones. Other causes of hematuria, inshallah, you, uh, this will be discussed in other grounds or even in future uh, uh, lectures. Medical or surgical is a differential diagnosis of urinary uh, 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 stones. Uh, when it comes to the diagnosis of a stone or urethritis, focus history is the most important thing. Uh, and, uh, and again, a reminder, some history of calculated duration and evaluation of the symptoms with complete uh, analysis of renal pain, of the pain and hematuria uh, is a must. Uh, uh, physical examination, uh, when it comes to the general physical examination, yes, you are and physical examination starts with the general look and the vital signs. No physical examination go directly into the abdomen. You look at the patient, you assess him or her in, in total, and even you go into uh, 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 vital signs, uh, but after that you go into more localized examination. After that you go into the analysis, or sorry, you go to investigation. Investigations will be divided into laboratory investigations or uh, radiological investigations. From the laboratory investigation, the most important thing is urine analysis. With urine analysis, uh, the, the concept is be whether the patient is having uh, pyuria, which is white blood cells in the urine, or not. 
hematuria, which means red blood cells in there or not. And we look at the crystals because sometimes some stone disease, they have specific crystals, such as we know that cysteine, they have a hexagonal, they have specific crystals if we see them, which means that the, the patient is having cysteine stones. Uh, the radiology, they have a long list of, of radiological investigations. You will see them, inshallah, in the coming uh, uh, a few uh, slides. Again, analysis, we look at the, uh, it should be from all patients to cal cal calculate. Uh, we look at our hematuria, uh, the presence of or, uh, crystals, if there's bacteria or not, or we have to, and, and we have to know the pH, whether this is acidic or alkaline. Uh, uric acid stones, they prefer acidic urine, while infectious stones, they prefer alkaline urine. Sometimes uh, we see plus in, the, plus in the urine or white plus in the urine, and it can be caused by irritation rather than uh, infection uh, in general. When we go to the radiological investigation, the simplest and the easiest is the ultrasound with a good specificity and low sensitivity. It's accessible, no extra exposure and it's uh, uh, cheap. Usually it's good for the diagnosis of hydrophosphate and renal stones and bladder stones, but with a poor visualization uh, for reflex stones. It's a procedure choice for patients who should avoid radiation, uh, where we, uh, in patients with there's alleged uh, IV contrast in pregnant women and childbearing, or women childbearing ages, so it can be done anytime uh, for any patient. Uh, uh, with a good specificity, but a low sensitivity. Uh, if we know, need to uh, see the stone, because we know that around 70 to 80 percent of patients of stones are already opaque, only uh, uric acid stones are dilucent. We go for what we stand what, for a plain abdominal X-ray, which stands for a KUB. So there is no contrast. It is accessible and expensive. Sometimes it's to be substitute common size and location of radio opaque stones calcium oxide or calcium phosphate or sometimes sea stones, but radiolucent stones uh, are uh, uh, radiolucent. The map sometimes on fixed stones are radiolucent, which is around, uh, we said, 70, 5, 20 to 20, 30 percent. So 70 to 80 percent uh, uh, are radiopaque, the mechanical is around 70 percent. So uh, unfortunately, if we are dealing with a patient with radiolucent stone or we're dealing with a patient with uh, uretic stones and they are small, uh, uh, the bowel will be uh, obscuring the uretic stones so we cannot see them. Uh, uh, so, unfortunate stones that are obscured by the stool or bowel gases, uretic stones overlying the bony pelvises or times of the vertebrae uh, can't be seen. Sometimes non neurological radio processes such as calcified luminescent lymph nodes or gold stones can be mixed or misinterpreted as stones. Uh, if we this is a KUB or a plane of X-ray, we can see the bone, we can see the vertebra, but uh, at the area of the right kidney, we can see a duplex shadows whitish. In addition to jumbha, they blue. It's a tube of bowel with a lot of gases, the uh, blackish hygrometer. This is a loop of bowel. Uh, we cannot swear that this, these are duplex stones, you know, are these duplex stones or not? So we go for other, other investigations, either with, with uh, uh, an ultrasound or uh, with a more sensitive and specific, which is the CT scan. We'll see it in a second. So uh, the, uh, before we discuss CT scan, IVP equals IVU, intravenous paleogram or intravenous paleogram. Now, uh, it is there. We Some people just do it, but uh, I think, you know, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen, it will be an obsolete. Uh, uh, investigation in the future because of a high X-ray exposure and because of uh, risk of uh, uh, allergy to the contrast and nephropathy. Uh, so nowadays, I, I don't think we do it that much. Uh, but this is an IVU or IVP. As we said, uh, uh, it passes over where, the, where we can look at the patients having a diabetic stone or uh, where there's a duplex stone, it stops there, so we, we think that this is uh, the area of the obstruction. So if you look at this slide, on the right-hand side of the slide, which is your left-hand side, uh, we're looking at the tip of the arrow, you can see that the contrast for the upper ureter, so the contrast uh, stops there, I think. 
uh, while if you look at the left hand side, uh, uh, on the slide, right kidney, almost the, almost the contrast is uh, passing through the ureter. We can see the ureter down. I'm sure we should not see the ureter as one column. I'm sure as one column, the cut one had manato, there's no peristalsis. Well, peristalsis is the main mechanism that goes from up, that takes the urine from uh, the kidney down to the bladder through peristalsis. But if you look at the left hand side, we can see not we cannot see the ureter in the in the lower part or the middle part. But you can see that there is like the contrast going into a column up to the upper part of the ureter and it's just a delivered the stone. Uh, now we replaced almost most of these stones by the name contrast spiral or hurricane CT scan, which do not give contrast. Uh, it has a very high specificity and sensitivity, it goes up to hundred percent. It's, it used to be expensive, but not anymore. It will cost around 100 JD, and some people, they do it even for cheaper. Uh, it should be without contrast. I'm sure contrast being a CT abiyad, or a stone being a CT abiyad, abiyad ala abiyad, you can obscure the stone, but it should be without contrast. It's fast, accurate, and uh, ready at most types, almost like 99% of the types in all locations kidney, bladder, or ureters, or uh, 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 urethra, and sometimes may give us a hint about information about other pathologies. Uh, if you just look at this, uh, uh, looking at the kidneys, they look whiter than the uh, adjacent. Uh, for example, if you saw was, saw was muscle, it's not gray, but it's not gray, it's not gray, Panato is with contrast. Now contrast is going to the ureter. Follow on the arrows, the tip of the right arrow, almost the right ureter, a tip of the right, right uh, left uh, side, which is the left ureter. But in the follow on left ureter, right ureter, as if in the left ureter contrast the actor or akbar with hajim. That's why we may guess in there is in something uh, leading to hydronephrosis. But again, on the we do not see, we can't swear on the stone. But it was, uh, uh, sorry, I'll just go quickly without stone. Oh, okay, I'm uh, showing the CT that's showing you the uh, stone without, uh, sorry, without contrast. So it should be without contrast. This is uh, a busy uh, slide where you can see the comparison between the, the investigations, but the best and uh, the most important thing is the uh, uh, CT. Now, with the current approach for these patients, usually the most important thing is hematuria, is, is history. Now, if the patient presented with abdominal pain or unplanned pain, a kidney stone, so the most important thing is your analysis. Uh, if there's hematuria, uh, you have to rule out the medical causes of hematuria such as gluconephritis, especially if there's no red cell cast or no hemipetonia. You ask for a KUB, uh, if there is, uh, which is the, is the easiest and accessible in most of the uh, uh, centers. Uh, if it is not helpful, you ask for an ultrasound, which is also, as we said, there is no uh, 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 exposure. If you think of stone disease, immediately for, you go for a CT scan without contrast, and CT scan would give you the the uh, the final uh, inclusion or diagnosis whether the person having stone or not. Now, uh, if there's stone, either you treat for uh, stone disease and or there's no stone disease. Now, for the treatment of stones, uh, we have to throw in mind two things. Either we were going to treat the stone itself or treat its complications. The complications is mainly pain uh, and infection. So if uh, and dehydration, and treatment of pain is analgesia, whether it's non stodal anti-inflammatory disease or narcotics. And the treatment of uh, infection is antibiotics, and the treatment of dehydration is fluids. Now, uh, uh, if and treatment of stones is to get rid of the stone. Now, one of the items that we should throw in mind, uh, the dealing with the stone for first stone is different from uh, recurrent stones. Patients with four stone do not need metabolic evaluation other than serum calcium. Uh, if the patient is having uh, radiographic stones or uric stones, 
look for uric acid. And you advise them to increase oral fluids. But if uh, uh, the person is having more stones uh, or recurrent stones or more than one stones, you go through the topic evaluation for a complete topic for workup uh, to talk about a uh, complete kidney function, including lyric acid with calcium and phosphorus, uh, or parathyroid hormone, and even uh, a liver function looking for a liver pathologies and 24 hour collection uh, asking for the sodium, potassium, and or the other metabolites. Now, uh, patients with the cancer stones need a detailed metabolic and biological evaluation, screening for hypercalcemia and hyperuricemia. This following collection uh, is a must. Urine volume, executive calcium, uric acid citrate, oxalate, creatinine, pH, and sodium should be measured uh, in the metabolic evaluation. مين هذا اللي بيحكي صراحة مي لا تخافوش عمو مش مشكلة sometimes بتكون عندي مشاكل anyhow the uh, treatment for calcium زيت combination of drug therapy thiazide for hypercalciuria or lipinol for hyperuricuria lipinol يشعر كان we give it for uric acid stones or مرض النقرس أو ال 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 hyperuricemia for potassium citrate for hypercitraturia which means uh, for, for hypo, which means the concentration of uh, citrate, which is a stone inhibitor in the urine, is low, so we give it or we supply it or we provide it uh, to the patient for the sake of uh, stone inhibition. Uh, 16 stones, the, the most important thing, increase high fluid intake and uh, urine alkalization, either with be deep in the mean or captopril or other drugs, uh, which is inshallah, so you will just, you will not. A treated stomach stone, the most important thing yes, Rob, is a treating infection. And sometimes either we go for ESWL, ESWL, extracorporeal chakratripsy, chakratripsy, which means taftit, which is the point of the sound, taftit, the laser, the laser, the laser, the laser, the laser, it's a force that goes into uh, uh, on, a, on, on a physical activity of the stone that goes into the stone, we break it down, and hoping that the breakage will will uh, get the stone or otherwise we go for surgery the surgery we can go on the uh, 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 sorry and the conservative or any uh, uh, open surgery or even laparoscopic or endoscopic surgery uh, summarize uh, uric uh, urolithiasis can affect the upper tract or the lower tract, usually lower tract uh, uh, stones uh, caused by uh, either primary stones because of the actual obstruction or secondary stones because stones they are from the upper tract and pass into the bladder or the urethra. Uh, this uh, what I wanted to say today. The most important thing is, sorry, uh, in, in, uh, and uh, in, in theory of liver being a stone. Uh, it was a little bit quick because I don't want to uh, take long time for you. The floor is open for questions or even any comments uh, from our colleagues today. Uh, inshallah. Here. I think this is what I wanted to say. Inshallah in the rounds. Uh, I could be Andy more uh, discussions or even more uh, 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 talk about your faces. Father Shabab. Doctor. دكتور بأي حالة بلجأ للتفتيت الحصى؟ أوكي يعني عادة نقول زي ما كنا نقول قبل قبل عشر سنوات uh, all the stones are available for ESWL regardless the size هاي الموضة اللي كانت قبل 30 سنة uh, اللي قبل عشر سنة بطلنا لأنه صار في عندي more advancement of endoscopic procedures and uh, surgical procedures uh, and uh, with uh, with not with with noting that 
uh, some big stones or some stones even they are uh, 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 hard to for, or they're not responding to ESWL. From Ato, the mazelic calcium phosphatic technome and our calcium mazelic dihydrate, they're very resistant to stone uh, breakage. So we say if the uh, density, the x-ray density of the stone, they are very radio opaque, but we're all in gasian. Our design of the stone is more than two centimeters. The half the only objective be the be, be breakage. So uh, I don't go for ESWL. The kidney stone, they are really good for ESWL. Uretic stones, the upper ureter quite sharp, but the middle will lower ureter are kind of obscured by stones. Uh, uh, they're not really good for ESWL. The better stones are through them with ESWL. So it will and the better has has the capacity. So Manato, it should be in a narrow space to look at. Because it depends on the force and the force and the force. Meaning the waves will enter. Meaning it's a small object, not a laser. It's a small object, not a laser. It enters into the stone. They do it like a laser. برجع برجع نفس الشيء عن الكزاز فديس ويل بريك اب ستون فمعناته الامينيمال ستونز اللي هم اوكي ريدي اوبيك بس بكونوا بنعيد بنقيس لهم على 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 السيتي الهاوس فيل تبعهم لازم يكون بين 500 و1000 مش مهم المعلومه هاي المعلومه الاساسي انه they don't look very hard or very opaque less than 2 cm and usually renal stones are the best for ESWL I think this will answer you, yeah, Pariti. Tamam, yeah, thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Sir Mekra. Thank you, but Pariti, if you want to ask Adana, the problem is that the number is very small, so I can't say, yeah, flan, yeah, flan, yeah, flan, but what's there on the screen in front of me, that around EU 52 or more, فبقدر اسالكم كلياتكم آه اذا عندكم اسئله اسالوا انتم يا شباب لانه عن جد آه الموضوع كثير شائك آه 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 بس البوتوم لاين تريتنج ستون از جيتنج ريد اوف ذا ستون تريتنج ذا كومبليكيشنز ستون كومبليكيشنز بين انالجيزيا انفكشن انتيبايوتكس اند جيتنج ريد اوف ذا ستون ايذر وذ سيرجري or even with ESWL, and very rarely we use uh, medical uh, distribution therapy constant for uric acid stones, الهمة, ال, 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 we use for them allopurinol uh, as, as, as a hope for the solution. But will take, it will take longer time than getting rid of the stone constant kind of obstruction or only symptoms, monato. Now will either you go for ESW or, or for surgery. Surgery nowadays, most of my, yani, ana, ana, ana myself, I forget when I did the open surgery. Hatta bil alam, initial open surgery, either we go for endoscopic using the uh, scope through the loin, and you call this percutaneous nephrolophotomy, PCNL or PNL, or we go for the broscopy or robot surgery. Inshallah, hada piku bikoon al يعني المين يورولوجيست او المين بروسكوبيك او روبوتيك سيرجن بهالبلد هاي ان شاء الله اخر نو كويستشنز نو كومنتس اي ثينك هاف ا نايس داي او نايس نايت اول اوف يو جود لك بليز يا شباب شو كوميتمنت تو يور راوندز اند يور تيتشينج وما تحجزوش فرصه الكورونا والاونلاين تيتشينج بي 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 Been not showing any commitment to yourselves, then not inshallah, you are our, you are our future. You will be treating us and our kids and your families. I wish you all good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.